What is up everybody, Scape211 here, and today we are doing another tips and tricks video on fighting the enemy AI. Now, if you've played this game long enough, you know that the enemy AI can be pretty darn brutal to the point where they're over a thousand power more than you, and there's no way you're gonna be able to fight them head on face to face. And this is especially tough when you're solo. So hopefully there are times when you can play with your friends but I wanna give you some tips that is gonna help you whether you are playing solo or with friends. So this doesn't mean you're necessarily gonna win. These aren't cheats, these aren't hacks. They're just tips for you to do better in combat against the AI. So with that said, here we go. Number one, play peekaboo. If you have an enemy that is coming after you and you are behind cover, this is the perfect opportunity to play peekaboo. The enemy, once they see the sliver of your mech, they will try to shoot at you pretty much no matter what weapon they are using. This is the perfect opportunity for you to peek out and go back behind cover and force them to waste their ammo. The best use of this is against rockets or slow, uh, slow traveling projectiles. So the missile racks and the RPGs are the best for this. My favorite, of course, is the missile rack because once you hit the fire button on this, it just continually fires your entire payload. So it's very easy to peek out once, get them to waste all their ammo, and then you are free to fire at them while they are reloading. Number two, avoid Terminator mode. You're John Connor, they're the Terminator. That's how it goes with the enemy AI. Once you are in their sights, they are not going to veer off from you as a target. This can be very difficult, especially when there's multiple friendlies or enemies on the site and they are all trying to fire at you. Don't be the bait here. You wanna make sure that you get behind some cover so that even though they focus on you, your teammates can shoot them or get out of the way, go somewhere where you can hide. One of my favorite things to do is use my kill shot because he is so mobile that after I take some shots on an enemy, they're gonna start coming after me. This is the perfect opportunity to use your melee dash to get further away and just keep playing keep away with that enemy while you chip away at their health. It's kind of a long process, but it's one where you know you're definitely going to defeat them and you don't really have to rely on your teammates to do it. Number three, know where enemies spawn. Now, if you're looking at your mini map, which you should be in a lot of games, it's gonna be obvious in control point capture where all the spawn points are and the red ones that the enemy has. In those instances, you want to be aware of those spawn points when you're fighting that enemy. Let's say you're at their spawn point and there's one enemy and you kill him. The clear and obvious choice for a lot of us is just to rush in and take that spawn point. But if you are not fast enough, the enemy loves to pop up with a guy right before you take that spawn point and kill you quickly because you just used all your ammo and probably your ability to deal with the last guy who is just at that spawn point. So it's easy for them to pop up and just get a quick kill on you. Don't let them do that. Don't be a sitting duck. If you've killed an enemy and you're not gonna be able to make it to their spawn point fast enough to stop it, don't try it. Just back away, get behind cover, and if somebody else pops out, at least you are safe and then you can reload your weapon. Number four, take spawn points cautiously. Now, of course, this won't really apply to tournament mode where it's deathmatch, you can't take those spawn points, but this will be effective in control point capture. Like we had said, enemies love to pop up on you when you're trying to take their control point. So you wanna make sure that you have the advantage if they spawn. Wait for your weapons to reload and wait for your ability to reload so that you can get the most benefit out of it and win that match. If you are using kill shot after you kill an enemy, dash over their control point so that you start capping it and they can't spawn. If you're using Panther, lay down a fence. If you're using Guardian or Zephyr, have your ability ready so if they pop up, you can freeze them or stop their weapons right away. This is the best way to handle these type of spawn point captures and something you should get in the habit of doing so that the enemy cannot surprise you here. Number five, no long sight lines. You have to know where the long sight lines are. Every single map has areas that have long sight lines. Sometimes right when you first start. I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but there's been times where as soon as I spawn, the enemy AI from the opposite side of the map, within the first two to three seconds, takes a chunk of my health because they're able to hit me with long arms. You wanna be aware of where these long sight lines are 
so that you can either dash quickly across them, get to cover as soon as possible, or put up a panther barrier fence so that the enemy can't take pot shots at you. And likewise, similar to the idea of spawn points and being aware of it, there are some areas in certain maps that are long sight lines right where the enemy can spawn. So if you're in an open area and the enemy spawn point is visible to you and you have no cover, you're probably gonna get hit by someone with a long arm, probably a Zephyr with a long arm eight and a long arm 10. It's happened to me. So if you're going to walk across a long open plane, especially close to those spawn points or near enough to an enemy spawn point that they can hit you long range, be prepared to put down your ability or somehow get behind cover or else you're probably gonna take a chunk of health or die from that kind of an attack. Number six, use special cover wisely. What do I mean by special cover? Well, the primary example is of course the Panther Shield. It's the best option of what I consider special cover. And why is this special cover? It's because the enemy will still actually shoot at it. A lot of times when you're behind rocks or you're behind certain barriers, they won't bother shooting at you because they know the obstruction is there. But if you put up a pan panther barrier shield or if you use one of your friendlies as a meat shield or an airy shield that you get close enough to, the enemy will waste their fire on it. Sometimes you're in a situation where the enemy is barreling down on you, you can't run away and you definitely can't engage them head on because you're going to lose. Using a panther barrier or some type of special barrier is a great way to force them to waste their ammo. And I've had instances where my weapons are still reloading, I won't be able to fight the enemy head on, but if I put down one of these special barriers or I use something that the enemy will try to shoot at, it can be very effective, especially if I can't play peekaboo. It's a great way to get them to waste their ammunition once again. And that's always what you're looking to do have uh, find those opportunities where you can fire at the enemy without them being able to return fire at you. That's ultimately your goal each time with any opponent, but it's especially true of the computer because of their overpowered stats. So that was really all I wanted to focus on for this one. It's already covering quite a bit. I may do more tips and tricks related to the enemy AI in the future, maybe specific to certain weapons, but this was just a first general pass that covers a lot of things that I try to do when I play in general. So if you have certain things that you use when you're fighting the enemy AI, especially when they're super beefy like this, feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you have certain strategies that you wanna see in tips and tricks, let me know as well and we will see you out there on the battlefield.